What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends box set on the Toys R Us exclusive Marvel's A-Force. I did pick these up at San Diego Comic Con, but you will be able to also pick them up at your Toys R Us store near you. I'm very stoked about these figures, I really like this choice that Hasbro has made to make this box set of this beautiful arrangement of female characters from the Marvel Universe. You can get this Velcro tab on the right side, you can see all the figures right over here, we get six of them, and we have the six characters on the left side right over there and we have bios for each if you want to read the bio on Elsa Bloodstone you can go ahead and pause it right now and then on the side we get these very nice images again and then on the back you can see this whole setup looking very cool I really like that a lot so let's get to it and crack these things open and here's Bloodstone out of the packaging looking absolutely beautiful I really think this is a beautiful character design I do like the way she looks especially in her action figure form here with this Marvel legend unfortunately though this figure is a perfect example of how not having double jointed elbows on one of these female figures can absolutely ruin it. I'll get into that more, but let's get a closer look at her accessories. So I love that she comes with actual guns. She comes with these two shotguns, which look fantastic. They look like pump shotguns, right? Right? I don't know a whole lot about guns, but I think they look pretty good aside from them not having any paint detailing, which I really wish they had. But at least they have, you know, brown seemingly in the right places and the gray which is a very dull gray color. We get a little bit of texturing right over here, so, you know, eh, they're, they're exactly the same. They are identical to each other. And she also comes with a revolver, which looks pretty good, you know, very dull flat plastic though. So at least you get the brown right over here on the grip and, and you get this metallic, well, it's not very metallic looking, it's a flat gray. And she does have a holster for this, which is the only weapon storage that she has. So you could just put that right in there. I wish there was something that would tab in better. You know, you just end up with this flappy piece right here. You try to, I try to tuck that in even after putting the gun in the holster and it tends to stay for the most part. And to briefly talk about Elsa Bloodstone's past, uh, she is from a family of monster hunters. Uh, her father, Ulysses Bloodstone, found this uh, blood gem that attached to him and that gave him the abilities that they get for, you know, with the invulnerability and the mortality and all that. And he broke a piece of that and gave it to her. Uh, she did lose her right hand and then he replaced her right hand. And I'm not terribly familiar with the character, but I do remember her from Next Wave and she was pretty amazing in Next Wave. An amazing marksman and she has all kinds of fighting abilities and agility and stuff. And she did dye her hair for Next Wave and she looks fantastic right here. Uh, I love the face. She looks very beautiful. I like how the orange hair looks, or red hair, but looks very much like how she looked in Next Wave. So I like that a lot. We also get some color variation right over here, so you can see it going through. Get some light brown mixed in with the red, or the orange. It's really orange, but red hair, you know. Very nice lipstick and eye paint, too. I'm very pleased with the eyebrows as well. So good looking face. I, I like it. She looks pretty. Good looking figure. Uh, this is not articulated, be careful with that. I'll get into the articulation more. Uh, but yeah, you can see the bloodstone right there, the bloodstone necklace that she wears. Now one thing that does bum me out is that her top over here is supposed to be a lot more low cut than we're seeing right over here. Uh, she's supposed to be revealing quite a bit of cleavage as you can see from the comics, but yeah, we're not getting the cleavage. Oh Hasbro, you took away the cleavage. We've seen this before with many figures in the past. I think first with the Kate Bishop Hawkeye and then looking at the jacket, which is brand new. I really like this jacket. Nice texturing right here. Looks very nice. I'm looking on the back of it too, so I'm liking the texturing from the jacket. I like how it flares out right here. And then we get similar texturing right here on her arms, which I believe are also new. So I'm pleased with this. Looks pretty good. Nice hands. Uh, the peg is kind of long on this. It's kind of bothering me, but you can try to smoosh it right back in there. And very nice gloves. And then we have this holster, and there's no color variation or shading except for the hair, but we get brown on the inside of the jacket. This belt looks really good. I like how it drapes over sideways, kind of like Rogue. And then you get this other strap around here with some silver paint right there on the buckles and the legs. And these long boots look really nice as well. I like the details right here on her, at the bottom of the boots too. Let's get some straps and stuff like that. 
and she does have peg holes and treads at the bottom of her feet. And then, of course, looking at the back, we gotta take a look at the bloodstone butt. Now, for her articulation, for the most part, isn't too bad. One thing I wanted to mention, though, is that you can really see some serious scabbage on the side of her neck right there. That that bothers me. I try to smush that down, and it's not smooshing. So, that nah, that's a bit unfortunate. But that does allow her to look up, even though she has this gigantic ponytail. So, even with all of that going on, she can look up. So, if you're gonna photograph it right, you can make Make it work. Uh, you can shift and move the head downward. It's on that hinge, so it will move down that much. I really wish this could rotate, but I really felt like I was going to break it. She has a great amount of head pivot over here, and of course she'll turn left and right, so it's not too bad. Shoulders move outward that much, which I wish could move up more than that, but it's at about 90 degrees. And then she also, and she can move the arms downward that much and rotate 360. And then we get the single jointed elbows, which I say ruins the figure because you can't really make her shoot too well with the single jointed elbow like that. I mean, if it was a single jointed elbow that could bend in a lot more, but yeah, that, oh, that's frustrating. Uh, she has a swivel right over here, swivel right over there, hinges up and down on the left hand, and it hinges side to side on the right, like a roll of the dice motion. You get the diaphragm joint right over here, and you get some diaphragm pivot, and it moves forward, and it moves back. Back. Hip joints move outward that much. This belt and piece doesn't really hinder their articulation at all, so that's pretty cool. You can get her to kick forward, and she does have the double jointed knees. She does have the thigh rotation in there, and then, oop, there goes her gun. And then her ankles can move down, they will move up, and she does have ankle pivot. Now to measure out this bloodstone figure, you can see that she is standing at about six and a half inches tall. Then here's Elsa Bloodstone next to the only other figures from this box set that I have reviewed. We have the brand new She Hulk. Then here's Bloodstone next to the only other figures from Next Wave that I I've reviewed. We have Machine Man and Dirk Anger. And I love that the guys from Hasbro like Next Wave and they're making these Next Wave characters in figure form. If you haven't read Next Wave, I suggest you read it. It's a fun read. And then here's also Bloodstone next to your average six inch scale Marvel Legend. We have the Marvel Legends big time no let down Spider Man. So I'm frustrated at the lack of double jointed elbows. I'm frustrated at the lack of a joint or a swivel over there at the ponytail and the missing cleavage. But I still think it's a beautiful looking figure. I mean, it's a good looking piece. And she comes with her weapons. I want her to have the two shotguns, so I'm happy that she has that. I'm happy that she has the pistol, and it's still a fun figure. It's just, ah, the, the double jointed elbows thing just really frustrates me, and I say ruined because I can't get her into a traditional shot of her just holding a shotgun with both hands. It just doesn't look good, so that frustrates me, but I still like the piece. Ah, I feel like such a sucker. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the review. Let me know what you think of the figure. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button for more Shardimus Prime videos coming your way. And if you've already subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell. And again, I gotta give a big thanks to all these people throwing some coin into the Shardimus Prime tip jar. If you wanna do so, link in the description below, as well as a link to MarvelousNews.com where you can find a photo gallery of images and links to my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. I'm gonna play with my toys today. 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 Well, I don't care what strangers say. I'm gonna play with my toys today. That's crispy. Hey, I'm short of Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.